coming to sit on our stability ball, we'll slide this purple loop band down to our feet, to our metatarsals. So it'll go around our toes, seated on the stability ball with our feet hip distance apart, hands on the hips. From here, starting with our dominant or tighter side, we'll evert the foot from the ankle joint, taking it out, two, three, inhaling it back to center. So exhaling it away from the body, inhaling it back to parallel. Exhale away, inhale parallel. Exhale away, inhale parallel. Keep your belly in, plug the shoulders down. Imagine that book bag of cement you're wearing, your upper back's really engaged in the movement. Two more here. And the movement's from the ankles, not from the knees, quadriceps, front of the thighs, groin area, hip flexors, not from these areas. It's ankle mobility. This will help with proprioception. And this will also help as you move through space for you to recruit muscles that are underactive that will improve your horseback riding. So go ahead and switch to your non-dominant or not as tight sides foot. And we'll take it out two, three on the exhale, bring it into parallel. Exhale it out, two, three, inhale it parallel, two, three. And remember the exhale as you pull out, the inner thighs pull back. So you're on the top of the sits bones as you sit there. Your belly's in, supporting the low back. Your pelvis is neutral, so we're not rounding, but we're not arching. We're somewhere between arching and rounding and neutral pelvis. Our front ribs aren't pushing forward. We're softening the sternum, breastbone, and front ribs towards the back body, imagining that backpack of cement we're wearing, keeping our upper back really involved in the movement. Shoulder blades together, collarbone wide, chin lifted, gaze higher than eye level. Finish up the one you're on. And from here, we're going to move into a standing version of our rhomboid trapezius exercise. We'll need the purple loop band around our outer thighs, so you can slide that up the thighs. And you'll need your green loop band and red theraband, taking the red theraband through the green loop band, standing on the center of that green loop band with your dominant or tighter leg, and taking the top of your non-dominant, not as tight leg, onto the ball in a hamstring curl. You'll wrap around the knuckles, that red TheraBand, with the elbows up, forearms flat, wrists flat, finding those two right angles. And then with a soft bend in the supporting leg's knee, we'll twist over our standing leg. We'll inhale, prepare. Exhale, twist over that leg. Inhale, center. And exhale, lower the elbows down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. And exhale, lower again. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, lower. And one more time on the side. Inhale, lift. Two, three. Exhale, twist. Two, three. Inhale, center. Two, three. Exhale, lower. Two, three. Let's go ahead and set up on the other side. Finding the hamstring curl, standing on that green loop band, setting up our two right angles, wrapping around the knuckles with the thumbs on the outside. From here, inhale, prepare. Remember, we're only twisting over the side of our standing leg. Soft bend in the supporting leg's knee, neutral pelvis, chin lifted, gaze higher than eye level. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, we twist. Two, three. Inhale, center. Exhale, lower the elbows. Inhale, lifting up. Two, three. Exhale and twisting. Two, three. Inhale, center. Two, three. Exhale, lower. Two, three. Two more. Inhale, lift. Two, three. Brace the abs. Make sure you're not locking out in your supporting leg's knee. Neutral pelvis. No rounding or overarching the back. Belly in. Remember that backpack of cement or my hands hovering from your shoulder blades and you puffing them back. Finish up the set you're on, setting those bands to the side, grabbing our blue TheraBand. That's the blue TheraBand. We're going to throw it behind the back of our shoulder blades, taking it under the armpits, wrapping it around the knuckles with the thumbs on the outside. It looks like this. I'm going to come over to the wall. My back will be facing you so you can see what's happening with my feet as well as my inner thighs. And you'll see that I'm going to fight to puff my back ribs into that blue band at all times, 
to keep myself upright so that I don't round forward at all. I don't allow that kyphosis to take over. I'm far enough away from the wall that my fingertips could brush it for balance purposes if I need it, but I'm not holding onto the wall. So know that since you're getting a view of my back, my hands are not on the wall. From here, you're going to point your toes, squeezing it on the ball, shifting to your dominant leg side. So when you squeeze the ball, the, the top of the toes of your non-dominant, not as tight leg will hover up. So it's like you're balancing on the toes of your dominant tighter side, but really you're, you've just got one little point of contact, but mostly you're doing the work with your abs and inner thighs here. Toes are actively plantar flexing the entire time. So when a toe is down, you're on the top of the foot. You're not tucking your toes under. Here we go. Let's shift to the dominant side first, puffing the back ribs into that blue band holding. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one. Inhale, pelvis grounds down. Exhale, inner thigh, squeeze, belly in. Inhale, brace the abs and shift to the other top of your foot. Point the toes, one foot hovering. Inhale one, breathe, chin up, gaze higher than eye level. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two, puff the back ribs into that blue band. Inhale three, brace the abs. Exhale, switching to the other side, hold. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two, almost there. Inhale three, brace your abs. Exhale, moving to our final side. Hold, inhale one, breathe. Exhale one. Inhale, pelvis pulls down. Exhale, inner thighs pull back. Inhale, pelvis pulls down. Exhale, lower pelvic floor muscles lift in and up with the belly already in towards the spine. Let's make our way off. We'll come into a wall V stretch. Taking our dominant arm onto the wall first, twisting away from it. Hold it here. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two. Inhale three. Exhale three, twisting back towards the wall, switching sides, turning away from the arm on the wall, bending the knees, chin up, gaze higher than eye level, belly in, twist. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two, inhale three, exhale three, and let's bring our body. We're going to take the mat, slide it close to the wall for a wall adductor stretch. Slowly coming down to the ground, taking our legs up the wall, inhale, prepare, point the toes, exhale, slowly opening the legs out to the side, keep the toes pointed, check your lower back position, make sure there's a mouse hole between the low back and the floor. Holding it here. Let's breathe together. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. If it becomes too much, take your hands to the outer thighs and slowly bring the legs up together. See if you can stay with it. Toes pointed, soft bend in the supporting, or soft bend in both knees rather. Neutral pelvis, guide the pelvis towards the wall in front of you, finding a little mouse hole, but not a big deep arch in the back. So tip the pelvis down. You can even tuck the pelvis in fine flexion if you don't have any back issues. But our goal is neutral pelvis, somewhere between arching and rounding. Keep your abs braced. Two more breaths here together. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. One more here. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Soft bend in the knees, hands on the outer thighs. Slowly bring them back up, coming off the wall on whatever side you see fit. Draping your body over your ball in flexion. Let's do a little belly breathing, pushing the belly into the ball. So inhale, push the belly into the ball. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, let it fall back towards the spine. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, push it into the ball. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, let it fall towards the spine. Two, three, four, five. One more, relax the neck. Two, three, four, five. Relax the mind. Two, three, four, five. Great job. 